Well, a good day to you. Hope your day's going well. I got my coffee, and I'm ready to show you something new. I don't know what it is, but we seem to be fascinated with lights and glowing things. I don't know what it is. You look at city lights. You look at little LEDs and devices. We just love things that glow. Well, I want to show you um, the outer glow feature. So let's go into View and Organize Photos. And this is one of the layer styles. We've experimented in this vicinity before. But I just wanted to show you a specific aspect of it. Some people might consider this a border or even a halo around something. But I think outer glow, which is what they name it, is an appropriate term. All right, here we are. Let's just grab the duck, the duck of death, <laughs> bring it into standard edit mode, and yes. Now when I said that I got my coffee, I got it, but I haven't really drank a lot of it yet, so it should be kicking in here soon. There we go. Right. First thing we're going to do is, this is all one layer. You can verify that over here in the layers palette. But I'm going to grab the paint bucket tool here, and I'm going to fill in the background with black. So make sure the background is black. I had the, um, I mean, I make sure the foreground here is black so that when you color it in, remember it always colors in with what you have in the foreground. So make sure that's black and click it. There we go. Now we're going to go to Layer, New, Layer via Copy, the shortcut's Control-J. Ah, I forgot to do one thing. Sorry about that. Let's undo Layer via Copy. We're going to take the magic wand, because when you do Layer via Copy, Whatever you've selected, whether you've used the magic wand to select it, um, the magnetic lasso tool, whatever you use to make a selection, um, it's going to take that and make it into a new layer. So we didn't select anything, so what I wanted to do is grab the magic wand here and click anywhere in the black. So now that whole black section is selected. Now if we go to Layer, New, layer via copy, it's going to take that and make it into a new layer. See that right here? Took just the black sections and made a new layer out of it. Now with that layer selected, the black background section, if we go up here into styles and effects and we want layer styles here and choose outer glows and now you can experiment through a lot of these um, a lot of them are very similar. Let me show you some of the... Well, let's do the simple one first. See, I just clicked it once. Now it created this nice, simple little outer glow to the duck. So it's not this harsh black and then yellow. It's got this nice little blend to it now. Now remember, once you click once on any of these styles, if you clicked on another one, it's going to just add that effect on top of the previous one you, you did. So if you just keep clicking, it's going to create a lot of noise eventually. So if you want to experiment, just remember to edit and undo before you try out a new one. Noisy, all that means is if you notice here, if you look really closely, that um, it's as if it's sponged. So it's not as... Um, uh, what? How would you say it? It's just more noisy. I mean, that's basically it. Notice the difference when we choose heavy. You'll be able to actually see it better once we choose heavy noisy. But choose heavy, and that just meant a thicker glow. But you see what that did is now we've overlapped onto the beak here, and I don't think that looks too good. So undo. 
See, there's heavy noisy. So now you see that instead of it just being um, solid, it's a little bit sponged on the inner side here. That's what it means by noisy. So let's undo that. Ah, there's big border, which kind of creates this inner looking line that doesn't look too good in this picture. So experiment with these, small, small, noisy, blue ghost, radioactive, let's choose radioactive, and that kind of made a double little line, kind of glowing little line around it. It looks okay. And although this one isn't going to look too good with this picture, notice fire. So if you had some lettering that you'd selected, oh, that would look, that would look neat. So that's basically a sponged or noisy red and uh, bright yellow. But for this particular picture, I think that simple looks the best. But you, you choose. Take any picture. You didn't have to choose the duck. I just picked it. And experiment with the layer styles in the outer glows submenu. All right? Have fun.